If you could see my face, it would be the face of disappointment because I'm holding Fostex headphones. My new, like, ooh, buddy, buddy, have sex with you in public headphones brand. TX, THX hundreds, awesome. Got the 900s behind me, awesome. The Mark Threes, awesome. What, you make an open, fully aluminum, amazing looking set of a 500 RP, oh, oh the TH 500 RPs, oh, regular phase, open planars, they're gonna compete with nothing. Disappointment. It's a shame, it's a real shame. I wanted to love these. I saw them and I'm like, oh, I hope someone sends those to me. I hope someone sends this to me. And guess what? Someone sent them to me. And holding them is just like a joy in the audiophile world. It's the Fostex standard Fostex headband, standard beautiful Fostex adjustment, build, finish, aluminum, lightweight. These weigh oh, so light. Aluminum. Just, oh God, they're so beautiful. They have the, the, the X100 pads here, the standard pads with the fat back. And you put them on and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get hit by that planar sound and you get hit by, huh? It's just, huh? It's just a huh set of headphones. I know how they should sound. I have this mental image of just, oh my God, the, the, the sound stage, the width, not there. They're narrow as hell. Then I'm like, all right, well, maybe the bass is just gonna come in and swoon nothing. No bass. I mean, like, I have a specific playlist called Best Bass, and there's like three or four songs in it, and there's more on that computer. And there's, there's no bass. And I'm like, all right, well, maybe the tubes will wake it up over the solid, no. Even the tubes can't fix the soundstage issues. Imaging is okay. These are a $430 pair of OK headphones. My God, do they look insane. They might be some of the most beautiful headphones I've ever seen. Just fucking gorgeous. Put hi fi minutes to shame with how they look. But they are not competing on the same level as hi fi minutes. They are just low. Whoa. Whoa. I have up there my hi fi min. HE 300, which are non planar, and I might choose them over these. I hate, I hate, this is a waste of potential because I know Fostex can destroy my brain. Witness me, witness, I could, I've witnessed it, and they're just not, it just, this didn't work. This didn't work, Fostex, I'm sorry. Because if you read the, uh, you read the Amazon page and the specs. It has a uniquely developed RP regular phase diaphragm. Stop using that. Because it doesn't work. I want it to work so bad. I'm wondering if they're using, and I would rip this apart if I owned them. No, actually I wouldn't do that either. You know what? I could see in there and I'm pretty sure they've basically taken the driver out of like the Fostex, the T50s. T50 RPs and put them just floating in here and 500 and just it doesn't it can't it can't it can't make go for my soul Let's get back to it They feel really good. They're light. This cord is obviously the standard Fostex The fuck are you thinking cord, but I've, I've grown to like like it because look at it, it's so thick. It's, an, it's one of those cords, it's like, you know what? I've made it in life. I've got a Fostex cord. I'm listening, waiting for the, th here it comes. God, they, they sound muddy. How do you make them sound muddy? And I know, because I listen to this song constantly then I'm like, all right, well, maybe, maybe the little bit of livelier sound the panda stack can output. put. Nope. 
Let's go back to the tube. I don't even like the way vocals sound. I'm, I don't want to have a bad review. I've, you know, people love, oh, you need to have some more bad reviews. And when bad reviews happen, it's not because I've searched out. Like, people are like, you should review these headphones. They're shit. And that's not fun for anybody. And this isn't. This should not be fun for anybody here. We should all have a moment of silence for the Fostex TH500RPs. Because what potential could have come from a, a low 400s, you know, right around the high Feynman quality, like, like price range, with just Fostex everything going on and just fuck, but it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. These are unrecommendable. So sad. Zeos doesn't give anything bad reviews because Zeos tries not to review bad things. What would be the point of every other review of mine being just a total shit fest? It's when I get surprised by bad things that reviews happen. And it's not it's not even like this is like I want I wanted them to be good. These would be an easy recommend. Oh, you get the high from you get the faucet. I can't. Can't do it. How do the X-Hundreds, how do the Mark Threes, how do, how do all those do it? And then they just fuck, it's a basic, it's a basically, it's just a, it's their open pair. It's an open pair, an open planar pair is the problem. I don't think, Fa Fostex just took their drivers that they have normally and all their stuff and they threw it in this and they're like, it's open and it's just not working. Uh, I can stop this review right now and just go to the sound demo. God, they're pretty. People could have customized them. You could have taken this out, clear coded this like red with a logo on it. It'll be awesome. It's not worth it. It's not worth doing. Everybody want to describe the sound some more? All right, well, the bass is fatally flawed in that it's low level, low, I would say low quality, where there's not enough bass there, like actual low end to review mid range uh, mid range is muffled vocals are distant someone quoted them as being dark and i've always known what dark headphones are the the, the he 300s are considered a dark set of headphones these are a fucking black hole the only thing i could compare them to are the 1540 shores the most boring headphones in the world but at least those were completely new. I, I, they were consistent through their neutrality and boringness. And these have potential and they don't... There's like some highs show up and you're like, Ooh, those sound really good. And then they go away and the song changes. And you're back to just... Uh, I've probably worn them. I've had them for like three or four weeks now. Maybe a total of, of eight hours. In four weeks, I can't stand. I I, I ran them, pink noise, break them in, whatever. You got. They can't go on my head. They fit comfortably. The wires good. Everything's fucking good. They just don't sound good. They don't sound good. Putting these on feels like work for me. Usually, if I put on something awesome, point at the stacks now. It's like holy shit, yes. Holy shit, no. There's nothing wrong build except the, the attached cable could obviously be changed. Headband is relatively comfortable as a standard Fostex. It's just the sound. This is a sound problem, people. It doesn't make go with sound. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand Fostex. This is your. This is on you. Fostex USA or Fostex Japan. Where are these made? Does it say? I have to get the box out. It doesn't say the country of origin. Now, let me let me put this little disclaimer out on this video because it's probably gonna be short because I'm just gonna be crying afterwards. When I get a set of headphones to review, I get one set. One. And if something is wrong with that set, I don't know that because I've only got one. Example, T50RPs, hard to drive headphone, and then they stopped being hard to drive, and then everyone else come on the came on their comments and was like, "Hey, I can power with my phone." And 
So my pair, uniquely hard to drive. The first rendition of my 3D Pro Sennheiser review. I hated them. There was something there was literally something wrong with those headphones, and I didn't have change the review and redo it for like eight, nine months because I didn't buy them. They were just lent to me. These sound like ass. And then someone else lends it to me. Like, oh, these don't sound like ass at all. Send it back. So there are some reviews, like the 880s. I will, I will also put a note. The DT880s where I had, I remember saying, no lows, no highs, only mids. That is no one else's experience. That guy sent to me those that pair of 880s and said, these are broken. But yeah, he was telling me about like a drug, like it was a little bit of a shutter in the driver. And apparently, if you look at any measurements and anyone else's opinion on the 880s, they are treble murder. And I didn't experience treble murder, so obviously, bad headphones. So, what I'm saying about these, don't take it with a grain of salt. Just hope and pray that I got a bad pair. And maybe someone else can find the flaw or the magic pair. They should all be great. They're planar. They shouldn't be that hard to deal with. I just wish these weren't... Oh, God, they're so pretty. So there you go. There's your... There's your tri-weekly... Zeos did a review of a bad product thing. And it just saddens the hell out of me that it's a Fostex product. 